Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see with this plain white area here, I am doing another iPhone decorating video. And today I brought a different color for an iPhone. I have an iPhone 11 in red right here, which was actually my second choice when I was about to buy my iPhone. So hopefully this video will be helpful for any of you who has a red iPhone or is planning on getting one. And yeah, let's just get started. All right, so these two are my base items for today and what I will be using to decorate my iPhone and my AirPods with. Um, so this is a transparent hard case for my iPhone 11 and this is a semi-thick. Um, I think this is the more expensive type of silicone AirPod case in a muted green. I'm trying to go with a strawberry or a fruity theme this time so i picked out strawberry and this sticker pack was so cute because of the muted colors i didn't want it to be too vibrant because it might be lost in the actual iphone 11 and today i have a nice pin set to use for my stickers so hopefully today the stickers will be cut out very nicely i thought it would be nice to put it right down here to give it like some kind of a background or a setting to the whole sticker theme so I'll be starting off by putting the sticker below. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, so one bad thing about a hard case sticker is that it's a lot harder to take out. So I should have been careful. Okay, let's try this again. So unfortunately, I scratched a little bit of the sticker right there, but we're going to choose to ignore that because I can't do anything about it anymore. Now that I have this in place, I can go wild with the rest of the sticker pack. Um, so I'm going to put most of the berries on first and then I'll add the smaller bits later. I like this bear a lot. It's so cute. I am slightly worried that the red color will not show well on the iPhone 11 red. Yeah. Okay, well, it's stuck. I wasn't supposed to do that. No, actually, I don't want that. If you have super clumsy hands like me, then I totally recommend decorating with a silicone case because the hard case it kind of just like it attaches really well to the sticker no kidding the sticker just like wants to attach when it senses that there is a case so if you want to avoid that then i totally recommend a silicone sticker okay i don't want to ruin this i'll just keep it like that it's okay i think i'm going to add this one which is symmetrical to this one on the top corner right here And then the next sticker I'm going to use to give the case a little more definition is um, this leaf. This one is a collection of leaves that are about the same size as the bears. And I thought it would be nice to just diversify the type of stickers there are. I'm going to try to use the color that's more muted. So it, we're all uniform. Okay, wow, this is really thin. I'm nervous. All right. No! No. no! No! Okay. <laughs> Acceptance. For anyone who is wondering where I may have gotten my pin set, um, this is supposed to be a pore extracting pin set from Daiso I got for about a dollar. So it's super handy. I totally recommend buying this. Um, obviously, it looks like I'm using it really badly because of how adhesive the sticker is to the phone case. But yeah, it's really nice. It's very intricate. I could probably perform some kind of a cardiovascular surgery with this. I don't know. It's, it's that handy. Okay, I think this is enough. I wasn't planning to, but I thought because of how the events turned out, I thought it would be pretty cute to put a grip talk on this. So why not? I'm going to put it right 
here and use the bear with the strawberry hat to put it all together and then I'm going to add the yellow flowers to make it look like this is an actual centerpiece. And then just try to like surround the bear with the leaves. And just to give more depth, I'm going to use these leaves too. And it's nice and circular and symmetrical. For now, my grip talk is finished. I'm going to leave it like this. And now finally, I'm going to add some strawberries. And I'm going to try to stick to the pink, pinker strawberries and red because again, my phone itself is red and I want to avoid the overlap. And I'm going to put the pink, the lighter pink strawberries towards bears with the red ones once in a while i think i can add this red one because it is um it has a gradation of yellow on the bottom there we go the key to a nicely patterned phone case is trying to make it look like everything is juxtaposed and try to fill the space as much as possible um it's kind of like the same thing as for some reason in Animal Crossing or in real life, places with more stuff and that's crowded tend to look better. That's the same thing. I don't know why that is so, but for some reason, the more you like crowd your space and fill up your space with like small stuff, and even in like fashion, when you wear accessories, it makes the whole thing look more put together. And that's what I, I'm trying to do and I have finished. Okay. And this is the final product of my phone case. I'm super happy about this because of how pop everything looks. Um, the bears are just the right color and the strawberries are just the right color for this red iPhone. So the next thing I'm going to do is try to make a keyring for this strawberry leaf top looking colored AirPod case. And for my accessories, I have this red ribbon that goes really well with the iPhone. And I also have a strawberry that's not that glossy um, and matte for the strawberry theme. And finally, this really, really cute pink rose pendant for the beige of the bears. Okay, so I'm going to be just putting them together. Okay, so first I'm going to cut this up. I didn't bring a wire cutter from home, so I'll be using these home kitchen scissors. Um, do not recommend doing this at all because it will damage the scissors. And I have this tiny rope that is about the size of a really tiny caterpillar. Then I will put it together using this small o-ring, slightly opening up about this much. And then putting it through one end of the string. Okay. And then adding it to... This. I get a lot of questions asking if I am willing to sell any of the stuff that I am making and um, I actually am thinking about doing that because I do want to share uh, my products with you guys especially because a lot of you like it so much but at the same time um, I'm not planning on doing it anytime soon because I am a full-time student but also because I am not confident in the quality of my product so no i don't plan on selling them but i do list where i get all the products uh in the above of the video like over here so if you are interested in getting them i know the illustrators themselves have websites or instagram where they sell oh my god this is not getting on and um, a lot of these small parts, I know you can buy them on eBay or places that sell any kind of accessory making kits. Um, but I'm Korea. If you're in Korea or if you're planning on visiting Korea, probably not anytime soon because of the coronavirus. But they have like this huge complex store called DDP, and that's where I get a lot of my things, except the stickers. Okay. 
All right, so AirPod keychain is also finished. Okay, so my AirPod and my phone case is finished. Um, so this has an extremely grandmother's forest cottage house feel, kind of like a mix of Three Little Bears and Red Riding Hood with a dash of strawberry in it. If you have any concepts, suggestions, then please comment them down below. I'll be super interested in trying to make them and deliver to you the type of design that I come up with. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye-bye.